I, I was sure I'm not gonna have to do another video uh, but there is this last video I have to do Robert Golob told me tutored me that uh, a ceramic ring yes it can be corrected with the super glue because it doesn't penetrate anywhere talking about the super glue but the fishing pole the fishing rod they're not supposed to be repaired or i should say i wouldn't repair this uh, i give it a second thought about it uh, what i would do is i would just uh, do like a little coating uh, I was thinking about applying very, very, very thin surface of coating with the super glue and then more super glue on top of it so it keeps the, uh, you know, once it gets dry, so it keeps the, so it keeps the, uh, any kind of anything from, you know, rain, whatever, water, uh, salt, whatever would be away from in, internal, you know, interior of the carbon basically the fishing rod you know blank uh, but the thing about it is I thought about it and it's exactly what uh, Robert Golob told me he stated to me uh, that it does have a negative impact on internal uh, carbon you know he's a genius you know Robert Golob is a genius uh, Robert Golov is a genius in a sense that these people in Slovenia are homeless. He made Slovenian people homeless. He's a genius. Uh, Robert Golov has his own company, I understand, which is manufacturing fishing poles in China. At least that's what they claimed. This goes into the category of overseas investments, Milan Kuchan, um, Danilo Turk, uh, Darnosh, you know, all these criminals from ex-Yugoslavia, the so-called communists, uh, began, they commenced it upon Slovenian independence. It goes all the way back to 92, 93, 92, they started to steal the money from the banks uh, using the Immediately upon Slovenian independence, actually in 91, it was when Danilo Turk uh, plundered banks in Slovenia, such as NLB and so on, with the Kuchan. They would uh, smash into the banks, whatever banks were available, and they would do the search through the Poslovodje, through the directors of these banks. Poslovodia, literally, not even directors of the bank, but individually from the bank to bank, ransack all the banking accounts like a robbers, literally like a robbers, voraciously collecting banking information and started to dry whatever money was left from the, either from the companies that were public from Yugoslavia, stealing the money, the public money, uh, using their own also uh whatever savings they had and they started to pour the money into china something that accumulated to tremendous amounts of money and what the slovenian president natasha pierce musart was hired for natasha pierce musart started to downplay the stolen money uh in my case in as early as in once i returned from the u.s yeah, they hired Natasha Pierce Musar in 2006 to downplay. Uh, in 2005, actually, before I returned from the U.S., they anticipated I'm going to return from the U.S. because I had a contract with American FBI and Central Intelligence Agency. You know, uh, a banana republic assisted this Slovenian apparatchiks here with... Uh, blacklisting me in American employment market they made my life impossible and they did this really really in most disgusting way I have to discuss that yet and so 
the billions and billions of dollars they have made, Natasha Pierce Musser was ordered to downplay the numbers uh, to a totally different numbers. Every time was less and less and less and less money. It started in 2005 with Milan Kuchan having even more gray hair than what he already had, if that's possible. Uh, and Natasha Pierce Musser in between uh, Robert Golob, Kuchan and others that were worried about due to torture that was used for them to get and financial advice and favors from other governments. That's how they interacted literally through torture. They build their fortune. Um, totally separate video I have to dedicate. The thing is, I don't know if Slovenian people deserve it. This is the thing. But it's about a whole lot of money, not about 300 million dollars. Uh, the money that Milan Kuchan began to discuss with uh, World War II resistance <coughs> and partisans that remained alive and their progeny at the uh, remembrance, at, not remembrance, but Memorial Days, whatever they celebrated, Drajgoshe or Pohorya, uh, whatever they were doing, and started once the truth came out in 2008, 2007, the truth came out about this stuff, the lie started to spread about, uh, he started to fabricate the lies about where he got the money for overseas investment in China and India. Uh, to, to, they talked about Skladi, Slovenian Skladi, and they got a board also. Uh, this is why they were so silent. Dmitry Rupel, uh, Janez Jansha, Loise Petrle, Loise Petrle for sure. I don't know how much about Dmitry Rupel did go into it. Uh, even for Janis Jansh, I don't know exactly, but I know definitely for Loise Petrle. Now, Igor Boucher got arrested, but he was also into investments, into overseas investments. And Loise Petrle got bankers from Kran and area with whom Ljubljana, with whom he associated with the Kuchan and with others, and he heavily invested in. Basically, they, they work theft hand in hand so much that one side covered for one another. Yeah, apparently, the, the Robert Golov was more successful than just with the Geni uh, electricity company in Slovenia and have even managed to build as one of the companies a fishing manufacturing company in China. That's at least what I was told, that he wanted. Kuchan, something insisted him that he needs to do one, whatever. Uh, this guy's definitely had too much money and too much time. Uh, and the beggars, the Slovenian nation, the Slovenes, will remain beggars. There was a chance one time in this country that their people would become, that this would become independent country. But a beggars, Slovenes, have decided instead uh, will become a beggars and have handed their independence on money, basically. They have ability to use to advance their independence back in the hands of the owners, the homeless dogs that uh, would give nothing more in this world than to find their way back to their masters from Belgrade. Like I said, homeless dogs, beggars.